So our usual disclaimer alert, please take your time and do what you can. Um, obviously it's a mixed level class, so uh, it's up to you to be guided by what you feel you can do or can't do. If you feel anything that doesn't uh, feel right, just stop, take a break and join in again. Um, and uh, yeah, and any problems you can drop me an email if you feel you need to. Okay, so let's start with the feet together. Nice and relaxed. I'm going to pull it out my toes and pop my heels behind my toes, okay? And then we'll just do our little bouncing up and down. So we get those ankles and those knees moving. Good stuff. Excellent work. Okay, now I'm going to come to a stance, a steady, and I'm, or stop even, Jesus. I'm going to keep my knees slightly bent as I'm working up and down through my ankles, okay? So I'm keeping the knees slightly bent. I don't want to have them locked. And I'm just exhaling to push up through the toes and back down. Good stuff. Oh, and one more then. Excellent. Okay, so from here I'm going to lift my left heel and I'm going to do my walking. So I'm going to walk as I lift each heel alternating. And uh, I'm trying to keep the pelvis nice and still, keep my core switched on, so as I'm not having too much movement rocking from side to side through the, through the hips. Okay, good. A couple more of those. It's nice to do this kind of warm up first thing in the morning. Lovely stuff. Brilliant. And then I'm going to lift that left heel again, and I'm going to climb the ladder, all right? So I'm going to press up through that left foot, up through the right foot, okay? So I'm just walking up the ladder. Or climbing up the ladder as I'm driving up and down through each ankle. Again, keeping the core switched on. We'll do a few more of those. So I'm working through those ankles and calves. Perfect. Lovely. Okay. So I'm just going to go into a nice squat position. So I'm keeping my feet roughly hip distance apart. I'm going to squat down and back up. Okay. Squatting down and back up. So we'll do about 10 of them. Very nice. Get those big leg muscles warmed up now. Get the heart rate going to keep those big muscles moving. <clears throat> so four, three, two, and last one. Excellent stuff. And you can shake that out a little bit. So I'm going to go wider in my stance, turning my feet at 45 degree angle, and I'm going to drop down into my plie squats and push back up. All right, drop them down, push back up. Drop down, push back up. Keep going. Very nice. And remember when we're doing our squats, we're driving our feet into the floor as we exhale, come back up. Three, two, and one. Lovely. I'm going to shake that out. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little single leg version of a squat. So I'm just going to keep my left foot forward, my right leg back. Staying up nice and tall. I'm going to drop my back heel down to the mat and stand up through my left foot. Okay? So I'm keeping my body weight forward all the time through my front leg as I drop my back knee to the mat. See the way I'm doing that? So I'm staying forward over my front foot, and I'm just dropping my back knee to the mat. Two more. See if we didn't do enough leg work last night. All right, load. Excellent, now we change. So same thing, so I'm keeping my right leg forward this time, brought my left leg back. Up nice and tall, and I'm just going to drop my, my left knee down, push up through my right foot. And like on the other side, I'm keeping all my weight over my front foot. Three, two, and one. Excellent stuff. Lovely shape there. Good stuff. Okay, so we'll just do a little bit of balance work. So I'm going to stand on my right leg. 
up nice and tall again. Slight bend in my, my right knee. And I'm just going to take up my left and I'm going to hold. Nice and simple. Focusing on something in front of you there. And then from here, we're going to do our tap. So I'm going to tap my left foot down to the floor three times and bring that knee back up to hip height each time. Watch that right knee doesn't lock out on you. Then I go on to the, to the outside. Very nice. And then I go on behind me for three. All the time watching that right knee now, guys, okay? I'm gonna tighten, hold, hold, hold. Bring that left knee out and back in three times. And we're gonna go diving into the pool. So if you wanna dive into the pool, you can add that in now. So we're gonna dive down and back up again. Okay, so give me three of those. Whoop, a bit of a speed wobble. And one more. So bring that left knee high all the time. Comes back to the front high. Perfect, excellent, shake out that right leg. Okay, so we'll change our legs. So same thing, so the setup's important. So get that left foot, get it relaxed, get it spread. Slight bend in your left knee. When you're ready, take up that right knee and compose yourself. And then when we're happy to, we'll tap that right foot forward three times. Good stuff. And then to the side three times. Excellent. And then to the back three times. I'm happier on my left leg. My kicking leg. Okay, cool. And then from here, I'm going to dive down and back up. Bring that right knee high. And again, if you're happy to do this. Oh, I missed one, didn't I? I'll do that next. And dive down. Perfect. Lovely. And now we'll bring that knee out to my side. Getting old. Main reason that as good as it used to be. Are we balanced? Okay, brilliant. And shake that out. Excellent stuff. All right, so nice little kind of breathing and stretching through the upper body, all right? So I'm just going to hinge forward and bend my knees. I'm going to take a breath in all the way up and then release it back down. Breathe in. And back down, two more in, and back down, a little more, and back down. Excellent stuff. And now you're down here, we just pop onto all fours, okay? Good stuff. Okay, so we start on all fours. So make sure your hands are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips. We're going to go into our supermans, all right? So it's opposite arm, opposite leg. We we'll just do 10 of these to so warm up a bit more through shoulders and hips. And remember with these now, you exhale as you lengthen, draw the belly button in. And then exhale and lengthen, draw the belly button in, okay? And done three or four more. Don't lift that back leg too high. All right, so you don't want to make you want to be able to maintain that lower flat back. One more to the right. Excellent stuff. Look, I'm going to sit back into child pose. Then I'm going to come forward, drop the hips up in front. Sit back to child pose. And forward. And one more. Sit back to child pose. And forward. Excellent stuff. Okay, I'm going to spin around now. I'm sitting up on my sit bones. All right, so we'll do some little roll downs. Nice and slow, controlled, nice, easy one. Then we'll try a few little harder things. Okay, so from here, I'm holding on to the shins. I'm up nice and tall on my sit bones. I don't want to be here, I want to be here. Okay, you can kind of pull on your arms a little bit to help. Get that nice straight flat back. From here, I'm sitting on my sit bones. I'm going to roll back off my sit bones. Go to arm's length, chin to chest, round up tall. 
And again, roll back off the sit bones, go to arm's length, chin to chest, roll back up as a fall, straighten up at the end, okay? So I really want to get that C curve through that back. So I'm back here, tuck my chin in round, 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 back up tall. And one more, back you go. And then chin to chest, round up tall. Excellent stuff. Arms out to the front. See how far back you can go. Now, if you want to stay holding on to the shins, that's fine. If you feel you can go a little further back, do so. Oh, feet come on the floor. Tuck the chin in, round up tall, back up tall. Okay? So just see what you can do. If you want to stretch those feet out away from you a little bit, you can. Just create a little bit more counterbalance so you can go a little bit further back. Give me one more of them. Chin to chest, round your back, up your come. Lovely. Okay, so legs straight. From here, we're going to do our roll down. So just make sure you've no space in the back. I'm up tall again, arms out straight, round back through the lower back. Allow yourself to slowly drop down onto your mat, arms over your head. Bring them forward, chin to chest, round up nice and slow, up tall. Very good. If you want to make it a bit harder, we're going to do 40. Bring your feet in a couple of inches. Go again. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. It is easier to do these with the legs out straight, chin to chest. If you can't do the ones where you can, you can come down and up like this. Just stay doing those slight roll downs. Bring my feet in a little bit closer again. Down and go. And then chin to chest. And I really press my lower back into the floor to come back up, okay? Really do it. Good pressure down through that lower back. It's called imprinting. You want to imprint your lower back into the mat. I'm not keeping it in neutral. I brought my feet in, so this is probably my pitch point. Oh, you go, you go. Excellent stuff. Well done. Just grab yourselves and give it a stretch. Okay, so legs out straight again. Everybody back down. So don't mind how you get down. Just get down. Okay, so hands behind the head. So I'm just going to do a little pummy crunch, but I'm doing them with my legs out straight. All right? So I'm still keeping my legs in the top pelvis. And I'm just going to come up to here and back there. Okay? Nice and easy. Give me about 10. So take a breath in, exhale, and back there. Okay? Breathe in, exhale. And back there. Breathe in, exhale, and back there. So again, I'm trying to make sure I'm not lifting with my neck muscles, I'm not pulling my head up with my arm. I'm really just concentrating on my abs. So it's kind of like getting into your 100 position or head and shoulders off the mat to do other stuff. Come to me right now. Three more. And two more, and the last one. Good stuff, excellent, and relax back down. Now bend your feet up into a hook line position, as what we call this. Arms back behind your head again, let's go again. Give me 10, so you might notice they're a little bit easier, you can come a little bit higher. Exhale, three. Keep going to about 10, okay? All right, really concentrate on your abs doing all this work. Four more. Exhaling. Three more. Two more. And one more. Good stuff, lovely. Okay, so I've just put my hands down by my side. I'm going to straighten out my two legs. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to think about pressing my left leg into the floor and I'm going to lift my right leg off the floor. But I'm going to come up into a kind of 100 position. So I'll show you. Arms down by my side. I'm going to come up to here like so. But as I'm here, I'm pushing my left foot in, lifting my right leg, I'm going to walk to Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. Okay. 
If I don't want to do the head lift, just lift the legs, lift the right leg, and press the left leg into the floor and do your hundreds. And then we're going to switch after a 10 second count on each side. So head and shoulders up, left leg pushed in, right leg lifted. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, neutral pelvis, remember. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax down. Excellent stuff. So we're going to switch it now. So again, you can keep your head and shoulders on the mat or lift them, I don't mind. So from here, I've lifted my left leg this time. The right leg is pressing firmly into the floor. Head and shoulders off the floor and let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Don't forget to press the right heel. 4, 3, 2, one and down. Excellent stuff. Very nice. Okay. We're going to try that with two legs lifted. Okay. Ever so slightly off the floor. Options for you. Tabletop. Bang, bang, bang. Or we're going to go left leg up, right leg up. Let's go. All right. So whatever position you want to do, tabletop or fully extended, it's up to you. Only 10 seconds. So are we ready? So pick your position. So if we're going straight legs, left leg up, right leg up, head and shoulders up, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, or you have them in tabletop, 2, 1, and relax. Woo! I definitely feel that in your arms. Nice one. Okay. So from here, I'm going to come up out of this. So I'm going to bend up. I'm going to do a few roll-ups and roll-downs, but we're going to slide those feet in and out as we do it, all right? So from here, I'm starting my legs out straight again. Arms go over my head. Now, as I come up, I'm going to tuck my legs in and slide them in. Then as I go down, I'm going to slide the legs out. Okay, so we'll try five of those. Breathing in, exhale, start to come up. Start to slide those legs in, up tall, and out you go to slide the legs in. Two more. Roll up, slide those legs in, and back out. And now one more. Chin to chest, round up, slide it in, and back out. We're going to come up for the last one. Chin to chest. Oh, we go. Oh, that's up there. Perfect. Lovely. All right. Now, one more little tough one in this position. Okay. Oh, someone doesn't want to let go out. So, I'm going to do my uh, Russian twists. Okay. So, the way I'm doing these, I'm going back into an inclined position. Arms are out straight. And I want to twist around to the left, twist around to the right, twist around to the left, twist around to the right. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Over and back 10 times. You want to go back a little further, you can go back a little further. So it's like as if you have a kettlebell and you do a little bit of kettlebell, like so. We're just using the arms, keeping the arms nice and straight, make sure. After you twist through the thoracic some more, you can feel your obliques. I don't know how many I've done. Go for three, two, one, and it's lovely stuff. Well done. So that's the warm up done. Happy days. Okay, so I'm going to lie on my left side. So you might need to go on your right, I think, to marry me. I'm going to do some clams. I've got clams in a probably week. So from here, I've got my hip stack. My feet are together. I'm going to push that top hip away from me as I relax down on my head. We're going to go through a little series. So keeping the feet together, keeping the engaged with the core, we're going to lift up through the top knee, up and down. Okay? Exhale as I lift and inhale to lower. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Okay? Now the top hip shouldn't be moving anymore. It should stay static. And the our glutes doing all the work. So four, 
three, two, and one. Excellent. So from here, I'm going to lift my feet up six inches off the floor and keep going. All right. Again, keep it connected to your core, lifting that top knee up and down. And those feet should stay really still in space. They shouldn't be moving around. Five, four, keep my core engaged. Three, two, one. Excellent. Have a little break. Grab that knee in. Give it a little stretch to the chest. Grab your ankle and stretch it away. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to do a little variation. We're going to throw in a kick or a leg extension with our clam. Okay, so it's top knee up, extend the leg, feet together, and down. And that's one rep. So are we ready? Up, out, in, down. 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 Four more. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Two more. Burning. Up, out, in, down. Time delay. Up, out, in, down. Woo! I burned my hip anyway. All right, good stuff, lovely. So from here, I'm gonna have my two legs out straight. Keeping that top leg, uh, sorry, keep that top hip pushed out. From here, hand down if you need to for balance. We're gonna lift that top leg up and down, okay? But I don't want that pelvis rolling in on top of me. I want to keep that pelvis still and stacked the same way you order for your clams. So it depends on how high you can take that leg. So five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Hold that leg at hip height. Hand down on the floor if you want. Bring it forward, point the toes, draw the heel back. Forward, point the toes, draw the heel back. So try and do these without too much movement through the upper body. If you need to, you can bend up that lower knee or place your hand on the mat for a bit of stability. Point the toes, flex through the ankle. Point the toes, flex through the ankle. Two more. And one more. Excellent stuff. Pause and hold here. Let's circle, let's circle. Again, you can start with the hand on the floor. Once you get your balance, I caught myself using my hand under my head too much there. So I readjusted to switch on the abs. Go back the other way. Five, four, three, two. Keep going, come on, keep going. Five, four, three, to yowza, Woo. super job. Grab that knee in, stretch out through the hip again. Okay, this time I'm bending up my lower leg. No, I'm not, sorry. I'm bending up my upper leg, sorry, my bad. So keeping my lower leg straight, lower leg stays straight. And we're just gonna do our adjustments. Up and down through that lower leg. I wanna really switch on through the core to get that lower leg off the floor. Good stuff. Trying to have too much movement through your hip. So five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent stuff. Well done. That top hip is banjax. All right, good. Turn it over to the other side. I have to remember all of that now. Okay, good. Clams to start with. So nice and comfortable on your side. Push that top hip away to create that gap between your waist and the floor. Switch on the pelvic floor to keep the hip still. And off you go. Top knee up and down. If you notice there's a bit of a difference between left and right, 
probably you should try and do a few of these. They're really good for anyone that runs. Keeps the stability in the hip, protects the knee, makes the leg more stable as you run, get your power. If it's a bit wobbly, you definitely want to do some of these regularly. Two more. And one more. Excellent. Feet off the floor. Let's go again. Keep that tummy tight. Keep the hips stable. Keep the feet stable. Up and down with that top knee. Exhale to lift and lower. And don't just let the knee fall. Lower the knee. Lower the knee. Don't just let it fall. You want to have control through the whole range of movements. Five, four, three, two. Keep the tummy tight. One. Excellent. Okay, I can actually feel that in my right gosh. Pull that knee in. Grab that ankle. Stretch it out. Okay, so this is the one where we're going to do our little leg extension. So are we ready? Feet off the floor. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up. Out, in, down. Five more. Out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Three more. Up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Whoop. Out, in, down. My God. I'd rather go with extra little dedication than this. All right, good stuff. Well done. Beautiful work. Okay. So from here, I'll put my legs straight in. Now, remember, I want to push that top hip away. Try and maintain that little gap there. I'm going to do my raised legs on the top, up and down. What I don't want to happen is let that pelvis roll in on top of me, okay? So it doesn't matter how high you're getting that top leg. As long as you're controlling what's happening at the pelvis, that's the most important part of this exercise. <clears throat> so five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent stuff. Okay, so we're going to do forwards and backwards with that top leg. Okay, point the toe forward, flex through the ankle, drive the heel back. Keep everything tight. If you need to, put your hand down on the mat. If you wish, you can bend up that lower leg. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. Good stuff. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent stuff. Hold it there. Let's circle. Come on. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can stabilize a little bit with the hand. Get your balance. Keep going. And then let's switch those circles the other way. Think about the control. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Woo! Hold it here. Grab that knee in. Grab your ankle and stretch again. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to pop this top leg up out of the way to do my adductors, those guys. Okay, so same thing. We're going to try and reinforce through your core to lift that leg off the floor, okay? Breathe in, exhale, lift. Breathe in, exhale, lift. Well done. We'll do 10. Try not to have too much movement through the hips. So five. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent stuff. All right. Quick little stretch of those hips after all of that, okay? What I want to do is I want to take my left knee with my left hand, pull it across to my right shoulder, and grab my ankle with my right hand and pull it all around to the right. They feel a lovely pull with our left hip. Good, pull that knee into your chest. Very nice. And then the same thing, right knee, right hand over to the left shoulder, 
grab my ankle with my left hand and pull everything around to my left. So we feel a twist through that right hip. And then pull that knee into your chest. Okay, so from here, I want to hold your left leg off the floor. Got that right knee tucked into your chest, and let's change, change, change. Let's go. 15, 14, 13, 13 12, <laughs> 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one lovely. I forgot to count there, I said to my hands to count. All right, perfect. We do some bridge work. So my feet are flat on the floor. I'm gonna push my feet, roll up into my bridge position. From here, I'm gonna lift up onto my toes, lower back down, come back through my bridge. Okay, let's do five below, bridge up. Push up through the toes, balls in the hole, lower the heels, drop down out of the bridge. Breathe in, exhale, push up, hop up onto the toes, roll down through the heels and out of your bridge. Two more, roll up onto the heel, toes, drop the heels out of your bridge. And then one more, bridging up. Onto your toes and stay there. Hold, hold, hold. Lower your left heel. So we're going to alternate left, right, left, right. One, two, one, two. You want your hips to stay really still. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring down through your bridge. Excellent stuff. Grab those knees, pull them in. Good work. Okay, so we're we'll gonna hop up out of them. And we're gonna turn onto our front. So we're gonna do some uh, straight arm plank stuff. Okay, so it'll be a little bit tricky. You can do them on your knees and um, to make them a little bit easier. All right, so I'm gonna go. Straight arm plank position on the toes like so. If you wish, you can do them on your knees, right? We're going to do shoulder taps, shoulder taps, like that, okay? And I want 10 shoulder taps on your toes or on your knees. So are we ready? Let's go. 10 shoulder taps, nice and slow, control. Eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Sit back, shake it. This time you're going to lift your feet 10 times. If you're on your knees, just lift your knees 10 times, okay? So it looks like this. You're on your knees. You're going to go one, two, one. You're on your toes. It's one, two, all right? So are we ready? Let's go. Keep that core tight. You just lift that foot an inch or two off the floor. Keep it tight, though. Keep it tight. I know you want it on five, four, three, two, one, and down. Nice. Now, we're going to combine that. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, left, right. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, left, right. Right? Looks like this. I'm on my toes. It's shoulder tap, shoulder tap, left foot, right foot. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, left foot, right foot. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, left foot, right foot. Let's go. And each rep is all four. I want ten of them, or five of them, whatever you're having. Do them on your knees, do them on your knees. I've done four. Let's catch up. I'm going to do three more. Shoulder, tap, shoulder, tap, foot, foot. Shoulder, tap, shoulder, tap, foot. Foot, two more, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, foot, foot, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, foot, foot, one more, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, foot, foot, nice, they're different, aren't they? I invented them this morning, 
of research. Okay, good stuff. Well done. Shake out those shoulders. Good stuff. Okay, down we go. So from here, arms by my side, hands facing up to the ceiling. Just gonna keep my head on the floor, breathing in, draw my belly button in. I'm gonna lift my hands and my shoulders up and draw them back together and relax back down. So I'm keeping my forehead on the mat first, guys, all right? So I just want to work the shoulder blade, breathe in, lift the hands, draw the shoulders together as you exhale. And I'm also reaching my hands to my feet. Breathe in, exhale. So it's like I'm trying to bring my shoulder blades together and tuck them into my back pockets. Breathe in, exhale. Don't forget the belly button. Breathe in, exhale. Good. Now we're going to do five where we lift our head off the floor. Keep your feet on the floor. Breathe in, exhale. And back then. Do not lift your head up to look forward, okay? Keep that head tucked in. Well, chin tucked in, sorry. Head up and down the mat. Draw that belly button in. One more. Very nice. Good stuff. From here, we're going to lift the feet at the same time. So we're going to have a skydive type position. So, depending on what level you're aiming for, stick at the level you're at. Breathe in, exhale. And back down. Breathe in, draw the belly button in, exhale. Three more. Breathe in, exhale. And two more. And last one. Very nice. Let's sit back and stretch out. Okay, so we're going to do the breaststroke now. Similar type position to we were that we were in on our front. You don't have to lift your legs. If you want to just keep your arms on the floor, you can keep your arms on the floor. So I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so if you want to do the easier version, you can just come up like so. Or slightly harder to lift the hands as well. Okay, if you're going to do the whole thing, we're here, we breathe in, we reach forward, and we exhale and draw those hands back like we do the breast stroke in the water. Lower ourselves down, hands come forward, breathe in, exhale, pull through to the back. Lovely stuff. Breathe in, exhale. And three more. Reaching forward, breathe in, exhale. Two more, breathe in, exhale. And the last one, breathe in, exhale. Very nice, good stuff. Sit back, stretch that out. Lovely, okay, good. But that hasn't opened up your upper back. Nothing well. Okay, so I'm going to go back on all fours. <clears throat> so, what I want to do here is I'm going to keep my knee at 90 degrees. I'm just going to point the toes to the ceiling and kick up. All right, so if you look, get a lovely flat back. I'm not arched. I want to hold it like that. My knee, my right knee is under my right hip. And then I come back in. Breathe in, exhale. And I'm exhaling at the point where my back wants to arch, but I'm using my exhale and my diaphragm and my pelvic floor working together to keep that back flat so you can really feel my hamstring and my glute working against my back to maintain a lovely lower flat back. One more. Super, let's switch. So keep those knees hip distance apart, don't let that left knee Drift into the midline. Take that right leg up as you exhale and back to it. Don't let your body weight shift to the left. Keep that back flat. There should be no movement through the hip. Three more. 
two more. And the last one. Very nice. Good. And just walk those hands away. Just keep your hips high. And just sit into that stretch through the shoulders. But keep your hips high. It's kind of like child pose, except our hips don't sit on our heels. So stay higher. Lovely. Okay. So then we're going to do the fire hydrant. So that's the one where we're like a dog taking a, a leak. So I'm just going to be on all fours again. I'm going to lift out my left leg out to the side. Take it back in. So I'm just trying to open up my hip on both sides, really. So I want the hip to roll around the right leg. And then I want the left leg to roll around the hip. See the way that's all working? So one leg stays still and the hip works around that. And then the other leg works around the knee. And one more. Exhale. So I'm still using my usual core activation of my breathing. Okay, I'm changing sides. So this time I'm lifting my right knee. There's a lot of bushes to be paying around this morning. Exhale. Exhale. So you can get that knee almost to 90 degrees. The last one. Very nice. Okay, sit back, stretch that out. All right, so we'll start our cool down. That absolutely flew by, my gosh. Okay, so I'm just going to do some nice little cat, camel, cat, dog, stretch the way like you call them yourself. So I'm going to arch my back, look between my legs, and roll my pelvis forward and look to the foot. Breathe in, exhale. Just working through that spine, get that head to move with you so you're using your neck to bite the spine as well. One more. Okay, sticking to our dog team, we're going to wag our tails. So I've lifted my left foot and I'm going to swing my left foot round to my right and I'm going to look at it. And then I'm going to swing that left foot back out to the side and look. So you should feel your hips kind of side bend from side to side, all right? As you wag your tail, tail being your left foot. A couple more. <clears throat> All right, lovely stuff. Well done. Sit back on those heels. Let's just walk those hands into child pose position. Hold that there. And let's just breathe in and out through our nose. And just allow everything to relax and stretch. So you should really feel your diaphragm working now, your tummy should be able to be moving in and out. If you're sticking to breathing through your nose only. Okay, so let's come up out of that, drop into our back extension. <coughs> our swan dive, and let's like step back in. And come forward, we'll do three of these, and then we'll walk back into standing. And one more. Okay, good. And we'll walk back into standing with our hands. And up we come. Brilliant, lovely stuff, everybody. Okay, a couple of little roll downs and stretches, and then we're done. All right, well done. And it's the weekend. Okay, so let's shake it out, shake it out. Shake out through the legs. All right, so take a breath in, nice and relaxed. No tension in the shoulders or the arms. Breathing in, exhale, shoot the chest, there we go. Hang out down at the bottom, breathe in, push up through the feet, stack up through the spine, all the way up, shoulders back, chin tucked in. And again, breathe in, exhale down, chin to chest, round the back, push the hips behind you. Hang there now, hang there, no tension in the shoulders, just rotate around to your left. And then rotate around to your right. Back to center, breathe in, exhale, push up through the feet, stack up through the spine. Very good, one more of those. Breathing in, chin to chest, down we go. 
Hang out down there. Take a breath in, push up through the feet, stack up through the spine. All the way up. Lovely, let's breathe in. And then drop forward. And again. Really reaching up high, drop forward. Last one, breathe in. Stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. And relax. And slowly stack up. All right, well done, everybody. Good stuff. We're back Saturday morning now. Aren't we? Yeah, Saturday morning, half nine. We'll see you all there.